Holy bleep. Ronnie Lott 99 overall card just looks insane. Like, this is probably what a strong safety should look like, but it must, they're all bad, and this one is amazing. Six foot, 96 speed, 99 play recognition, 99 zone coverage, acceleration, pursuit, 100 hit power. This card is crazy. Like, he might be the best golden ticket in the game. Like, Calvin Johnson was good last week. This Ronnie Lott is a guy I'm going to be pulling for today. Now, I'm not opening my game changer bundles because I, I'm gonna go ahead and save that because I golden tickets are in packs right now. Golden tickets are in packs right now, and I don't think you can pull those out of golden or put those out of game changer packs because I just don't want to chance that. So I got out of all the game changer packs I opened, I have not pulled a legend collectible or any collectible of the sort. So we do on pro packs, and we're gonna go OD on pro packs. We open up 60 pro pack bundle with coins. So. 40 to 50,000 coins down the drain to go ahead and try to get my hands on Ronnie Lott or a golden ticket. So this should be very, very fun. Hit that thumbs up button. Let's get right into it. 450,000 coins. Like, I have to try and get something good out of packs because I never try to pull packs and stuff comes out. But today, we try something different. Let's get into these pro packs, man. Like, this could be very, very great or this could be very, very bad. I go through these packs as fast as I possibly can so you guys can get hold up. But. We got to try to pull the golden ticket. We got to try to pull the legend because if you guys have not known on this channel, we have not pulled a real live elite legend. Like not, that hasn't happened to me at all this year. So we got to try right now. And the crazy thing about not pulling those legends is that you see everybody on Twitter tweet EA Sports, my legend pool. Look at this, my second, third one. I'm like, yo, I'm on here on one still. I haven't got anything, but the golden ticket should take up the spot of a collectible out of these packs. Uh, if we got a cool golden or if pro packs in the near future start adding badge packs or just start adding badges to them because they'd be more fun to pull because these packs still are the best value pack. Because if you guys will do the mass 60 pro pack or two game changer packs, you might as well do the pro pack opening. But like, I really wish to add something else to these packs besides that random chance of pulling one of those collectibles that may not go for or one of those like pro pack, like one of those like quick sells. So it's kind of cool, but at the same time, we need more value out of these packs. But this weekend, like this week everything has been coming up texas like i've having some having some really good luck pulling some rare cards that go into these packs so i mean why not try to get my luck on these pro packs only reason why i'm opening them if i had an awful week i would not be into these packs but because i had some pretty good luck i want to go ahead and test it on these packs see if i can get lucky and pull something and that out of the first couple of packs got nothing so far but brian hoyer he's going for around twenty thousand coins so that is a pretty good pull right there I played Mutt for about three years so far and had not pulled a golden ticket as we get a, ah, if I see a blue flash, I really want a clowny collect, but I don't want these, uh, these, these ones, right? these go for nothing, but I've been playing Mutt for three years and I have not pulled a golden ticket collectibles. I can put in the set. I've not pulled a silver ticket, which I'm surprised they did not bring back. London was tweeting on Twitter that that was the best value because you pretty much got two players, uh, from Madden and it could be two players at any price of their impact. So you could get Julius Peppers and Mutt 13 and like another cargo for a million coins. So that was kind of cool. But this year, it seems like they don't want to give us too many players that go for a lot of coins because they are worried that people are going to sell them for coins. And I guess that's why the holdup is there. But I would like to pull a golden ticket this year. I can make my, I'm trying to think who would I make? Cause like there's a lot of players in this game. There's a lot of players in this game that I would love to make. For example, a Thomas Davis golden ticket would be just amazing. That guy would be have amazing speed, amazing man coverage, already has good zone coverage. That card would be crazy to make along with like, if you make a Marquette King, I probably piss a lot of people off, but I mean 90 speed for King. Like there's a lot of stuff you could possibly make that would be very exciting. And I want to pull one. If you're really crazy, you make a one million coin quick sell, put that in pro packs like that and forever. Like that could be something you can make Cam Newton right there. So there are a lot of ideas out there floating around. But if you guys are going to make golden ticket, if you guys are lucky to pull a golden ticket, take this advice right here. Take this advice. One, do not put a 24 hour stamp on that guy's card, because if you guys had to be paying attention, 24 hour cars do not get pulled all that often. I think the most frequently pulled 24 hour card was that Travis Kelsey. And that was because he was an 87 overall, I think. Was he 87 overall, the first couple outsider? That car was so low tier overall that it was so easy to pull. But if you guys look at the recent 24-hour cards, the Calvin John, I said Calvin John, Calvin, Calvin, the Calvin Johnson. You also have the um, Ronnie Lott, like all these these ultimate legend cards. Now, I know they're legends, but Golden Sagers will be treated the same way, and they're very hard to pull. So if you guys are gonna do any number amount on them, make out make out of a thousand, just so a thousand get pulled. We see a thousand in the game because I'm not about to be dealing with cards only getting pulled five times because there's 24 hours on it. If you pull two gold cards, right there. hey Ryan Wendell, is he still going for a lot? Is he still going for a lot? That's that's a really good pull. If he's still going for a lot. 
because I, I mean he was going for like 50k at one point so we'll go ahead and take that pull josh mccown going to keep these plays but yeah make it out of a thousand or make it out of a high number just so it's in packs for a while whereas opposed to 24 hours may seem like a better deal but those cards do not get pulled all that often you guys saw happen last year with um what's his name he pulled a mike mitchell and a blair walsh a pretty good kicker he's in the set is he in the set yes he is uh last year the Donald Penn, that car, I thought a car would be pulled a lot. That car was still super expensive. It was because it was in packs for 24 hours. It was in packs, it was a thousand in packs. The price would have been much cheaper. I guarantee you that right there. So, so far, packs, I'm not really pulling any elites out of these packs. I guess everybody's pulling packs right now, so the hits are going to be taken down. But we're getting some pretty good value stuff. If Ryan Wendell and Brian Hoyer are still going for, I think they're going for, I should make some coins right there. So he pulled two back to back goals. Okay, so I'm pulling a lot of back to back gold cards. So pro packs are kind of being worth it joel dreesen i'm not too sure if he's in a set right now that i can yeah not in a set he might be rare for the broncos silver set go ahead and keep kevin booth because he is a high overall silver he might be going for coins in that uh raiders set but these packs so far have not been the greatest at least i'm pulling some value at least i'm not really i'm, I'm pulling more value than i would be pulling if i was just pulling one gold card right and i pulled another high tier i mean another gold card right away Anthony Thomas Deku. We'll go to quick sell this guy. He goes from nothing. The free safety set's already in the game, so no need to hold on to him. I, I just create I know all the value of these cards. And like I don't want to quick sell these bad boys just in case they want to release like uh, let's just say they release a silver upgrade set or whatever. I don't want to release these uh, sell these cards right now, but I got to make room because I'm about to run a room my reserves. We get Eric Reed, who is a budget safety. He has good hit power, good speed as well. Looks like Jerry's Burr, actually. Uh, you want to get rid of this guy. Man, why aren't they? Like, I know Silvers are in the team upgrade or the team trophy sets, but make these guys in more sets. Man, I want more bronze and silver to be rare in this game. We're more expensive. I like the fact you can basically just sell cards for like 2,000 coins, 3,000 coins for Silvers. As we get a, what is this? Oh, Pro Pack. I got nervous there because oh, I got nervous. I got nervous as hell when I saw that. <laughs> oh, I got nervous as hell when I saw that. Man, my heart dropped. My heart dropped completely. Ooh, that got me. That got me. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. We got a Silver Saliga, whatever that guy's name is. And what else is this go card? We got an Aaron Donald pretty good right there. Let's keep pushing through. Let's keep pushing through. What's where to go? Oh, Elite. Elite. We got a Joe Hayden base Elite right there. He's not going for much. He's around 20,000 coins. This is amazing. This guy's going for so expensive. Like, at the beginning of my now he's very, very cheap. But he's still pretty good. I wouldn't use him, though, because I already have great quarterbacks on my team. But that card is very, very cheap for guys that can't afford high-tier overall cornerbacks in this game. He plays really well, too. Rock Carmichael. Nothing else in this pack. Go ahead and quick sell those. And let's go ahead and keep it pushing into the next pack. Golden Ticket, where you at? Golden Ticket, we get a high-tier Dwayne Allen. Nothing else out of that pack. So I guess you could probably pull two elites out of packs, I guess, if that's the uh, what they're doing with the uh, the fact you can pull two gold cards. So I guess you can pull two elites now, which would be kind of cool. That's like a rare occurrence. I wonder what the odds are on that, because odds pulling elite cards in this game are very, very scarce. I wonder what the odds are of pulling two elites in one pack. What are the odds of those? If we get another gold card, J.R. Sweezy. We could probably, we're going to hold on to them for the right guard set. It's kind of crazy because, like, I thought that I, hey, you can prepare for these uh, positional sets. You can prepare for these sets really easily, but because they keep dropping a bunch of, like, promo packs and stuff like that, people are preparing it. Like, everybody's preparing. So, it makes it harder to make coins off these sets because you hold on to cards, you might think go for around 13,000, 15,000 coins, but now they're all cheap as we get a Chris Canty right there. I only pulled one elite. Where my, where my clowny collect was at? I want to get clowny set done. Give me some more clowny collect. I need those guys on my team. Uh, Justin Tuggle can go, so can that guy. We'll go ahead and get rid of Xavier Nixon. And I'm going to go ahead and hold on to Lewis Nix, even though I think he goes no, he goes for nothing, actually. I know that for a fact. I had him yesterday. He goes for nothing. He goes for not a damn thing. He goes for quick sell. He goes for about 250 coins. As this next pack, we get a Bruce Urban or TTP. Getting close to the point where I might have to quick sell some of these playbooks. I'm not going to, though. Come on, where are the elites at? Where are the legends at? Where are the high overall pulls at? As we get a Cullen Jenkins. And my guess is I'm probably not going to pull a Ronnie Lott just because it's already been two pulled on the Xbox One. And I think that's the quota for at least this hour. Like, I'm pretty sure it's like certain times, like certain cards for a lot of it. Because you guys saw the Michael Vick. There's like one pull, and that was pretty much it. So, like, I don't think that I'm going to be over here pulling the uh that ronnie lot right now because like two have already been pulled but we don't want ronnie lot we want a golden ticket we're going overboard on packs for a golden ticket wasting a lot of coins for a golden ticket as we finally pull a clowny collectible as i called it finally uh he's around twenty thousand coins now i go ahead and get, i'm cool with that i'm cool with that card because it helps me get that set done for that combine master collectible hussein abdullah goes for nothing as well neither does aj jenkins or cj anderson quick selling a bunch of cards right there 
More Kalani collectibles. We'll take more of those, even though we're not going to get anything else out of the uh, no voted tickets. We'll take more Kalani collectibles as we pull a ball again. Brock Osweiler, Glover Quinn, boo that guy. Oh my goodness, nothing. Nothing at all. No rare silvers anymore either. Where are my rare silvers at? It started off so promising too. Like, oh, high overall silver cards to go for some coins. Now, low tier, low tier silvers and low tier gold cards that have no value. Harrison Smith. Uh, one point you're around 13,000 coins now you're like quick sell that's crazy Redskins office we get Brandon Ross nothing else out of that pack so let's keep going I'm not too sure many packs I opened up so far I could check but I'm not going to Sam Baker he's still going for a lot is he still going for a lot he's still going for a lot we got a gold card at the end and it is a Pat Sims Damian Williams oh this is not good this is not good this is not good I might regret the decision I'm about to regret my decision <laughs> I'm about to regret my decision of buying all these packs oh no one high tier legend pool make it all go away one legend pool one legit legend pool not an arthur jones one legit legend pool make this all go away it is not gonna happen it looks like we're gonna keep pulling these low tier gold cards that at the moment have no value because there's no set in the game for them that they have value to and i guess that's pretty much what i asked for right it's what i asked for open packs and everybody else's open packs which means i'm not gonna pull the greatest things we get a will hill right there rttp who goes for nothing as well curse asante matt johnson nothing else let me get these two guys out the way as well the only thing i'm keeping the team out of you know i probably should be quick selling those because i'm around the room pretty soon as you guys can see as we get hey okay red brian high tier overall gold card he's not going for much as he once was but we'll go ahead and take that pool hopefully he goes for a lot when the left end set drops hopefully that drops monday so i can get rid of some of these cards in my reserves because i have so many left ends it's not even funny that pack right there not the greatest either <laughs> oh no all right come on can we get like i know my am not is anything great basically like the odds are not my favorite right now but come on man like you gotta help me out you gotta help me out like i, I my subscribers want to see a good pool and I'm not getting anything. Cedric Thornton. Actually, I kind of needed this guy too. I think I quick sold him on accident. So I think oh, below pals around 10k. So that's a pretty solid pool. I just want to make my coins back. That's all I ask. Let me just make my coins back out of these packs, so we can all be good. But that's probably not gonna happen. I have not pulled anything out of these packs that would allow me to make back 500,000 coins. Like that's not happening at all. Not happening at all. We got 27 packs remaining, so let's get right back into it. I made a little room in my reserves, quick selling or putting some of those jerseys into the set. So let's go. If I pull a golden ticket, I'm going to stop. That's not going to happen. So let's go to keep pulling these packs as we get an elite Michael Kendrick. So finally, our second elite pool with Deb McCourty. He is a pretty good card. 92 speed, 91 tackle with a 93 player can, uh, pursuit. I'm sorry. It's a pretty damn good card. What's his catcher? He can catch kind of sort of as well. He's very, very fast. Very, He's not as tall as I like him to be, but that's still a pretty good user linebacker right there. We'll go ahead and take him. I'm not doing that set for that uh, Jason McCourty, but it's a Devin. It's Jason. It's Jason. Is it Devin or Jason? Devin McCourty. I'm sorry. Devin McCourty. But for those that are, I'm selling that bad boy. So look for that guy on the auction block. So nothing else out of that pack. Alex Okafor. Let's get into the next one right away. Maybe the tiny delay into the pack opening might spring some good luck. There's more elites. More elites out of this side. No elites out of that pack right there. We get a Kindle right. Oh, I haven't, okay, my fault. I just pressed X. <laughs> I just pressed X, not even doing anything with that last pack. So, okay, my fault. All right, so, so far, I only pulled two elites out of this pack, plus that elite pro pack, if you want to count that. So, we need some more elites. Clown and collectibles would be nice. I want more of those. I want more blue flashes. I want more blue flashes. And right there, you're not getting no blue flashes. We're getting a Dan Williams, a Jalil Brown, a Dan Scooter, that guy, and a bunch of other stuff that I can't nothing but put into sets. But we want more blue flashes. Clown is a guy I want on my team right now, as we get two gold cards right there. We get a Haha -ha Clint Dix and we get a Dustin Coco who's going for more than Haha -ha Clint Dix is ever gonna be going for. Brandon Cook's going to hold on to. I think he goes to the Saint set. Yes, he does. Saint set. Get your butt in there. Get your butt in there. I don't know why I'm doing those sets anymore because it's not really worth it, but F it. Like, just go ahead and throw them into the set because I'm not gonna sell money auction block. He's probably only going for 2,000 coins. And that's not that much, in my opinion. But that was a that's a good pack. I think Dustin Coco is going for around 8,000 coins. That's a pretty solid pack. Makes up for itself. As we get nothing else out of this next pack right here, a Jaquay Brown and nothing else. It's crazy because I have a lot of coaches, right? I have a lot of coaches, playbooks, uniforms. And I keep pulling the ones I already have. Like the ones I don't have, I don't pull enough of, right? I keep pulling the ones I already got. Like is it Mark Tressman? I think I already have Mark Tressman. Let's go check. Do I have Mark Tressman already in the set? Yeah. Like, wow. Do I have this Bill Stave in the set? Yeah. Like, can I pull something I don't got so I can go ahead and throw it into the set and keep my pack opening spree going? Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, we get an elite Zach Shriver. I forgot this guy was even in packs. I forgot he was still in packs. That guy, he's not going for much anymore. I used to have this guy. I got rid of him because uh, he was going for a lot more than the, well, Jake Matthews that I bought. But, like, 
Yeah, it's just whatever. Like, Dick Matthews is a lot better when it comes to everything else besides pass blocks. So, whatever. He gets the job done. He's not terrible, but he's not good either. But, all right, we got three elites so far. Why am I keeping track of this? Like, I know I'm not going to be pulling any elites out of these packs. Stop keeping track, Texas. Less than 20 packs remaining. Can we finish this bad boy out strong? Charles Johnson, elite pull right at the top. He's going for around 3,000 coins, but we'll go ahead and use this guy for the left end set if he's going to be in that set. Let's keep going, though. Come on, more elites. We want more elites. I got to go ahead and keep quick selling stuff because I want to out of room, though. Get this Alex Okafor off my team. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. At least popped out of packs now. We get a blue flash. Is that Clowny? Yes, it's Clowny. We'll take that 6-5 measurement collectible. Let's keep going. Go to quick sell that guy. Quick sell that guy. Oh, my goodness. Ray McDonald, I'm going to hold on to you. Might be going for one Robert Malone. Next pack. Let's go. He's flying through these packs. And at least Sebastian Walmer. So the pack's heating up. The pack's heating up. I got to go faster. Much faster. Ricky Bobby speed. I got to go fast. 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 Let's go. Let's go. More elites. More elites. More elites. Oh, we stopped down at that gold cart right there. But we got Chris Culliver. We get a drill, pal. All right, I, thought, I thought the elites were going to keep popping out. I thought the elites were going to keep popping out of these packs. They still might, though. That was just like a cooldown pack. That was a pit stop. We at the pit stop right now, getting our tires fixed. Over here, just taking our time, getting some drink, making sure we are hydrated before we go back to the next pack. Let's go. Next pro pack. Next pro pack, something great. Nothing great. <laughs> Nothing great. BJ Roger. BJ Roger. Now we're on a flat tire. We got a flat tire now after we just got from the pit stop. Not getting anything out of that pack. I have no idea what I'm talking about, by the way. I'm just talking out of my neck right now. I'm just talking randomly. So that pack was nothing great out of that pack. And I think I got room for one more before I have to actually go ahead and put some more cars in sets. Yeah, one more pack. One more pack. And we get a Reggie Nelson. So that was not a good pack to end on right for, for right now, at least. 13 packs remaining. I think we have enough to finish this bad boy out. Peppers right at the top. Nothing I do with that guy's card, but just go ahead and just hold on to for the left outside linebacker set, who might be just in Houston. Uh, which is kind of funny because that card is going to be a higher overall than Julie, not Julie, I'm sorry, than uh, Thomas Davis, the honors Thomas Davis, but he's not going to be half the card that card is. Thomas Davis' honors card is probably the best linebacker in this game. Like, I, that card is so damn good, and that Justin Houston coming out is going to be so much better than it, but it really it's not going to be better than it when it comes to looking at the mutt facts, as Philly Ron would say. This next pack right here, we get a Scott Chandler. Where are the golden tickets at? I need to pull one. I have not seen one pull on the Xbox One at all. We're hunting for golden tickets. Give me a golden ticket. I want a golden ticket, and I'm probably not going to get one. But, hey, a boy can dream. A boy can dream. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Fly through this next one. All right, you know what? The packs is kind of kind of cooling down right now. I had that amazing elite run through for like a split second like a split second and now it's like yo texas take these gold cards take these gold cards i don't need these gold cards i want i don't even, I don't even need elite cards i just want one card i just want one card and that's all i ask for just one card so i can make myself another card that everybody in this game would love and hate at the same damn time because that would be the dream make a card that people love and hate because there can never be consensus on anything that'd be very fun to see as we get a Connor bar right there nothing else out of that pack no dante mock brandon mcgee ryan davis Ugh, nothing just just hot garbage right there just hot garbage more clowning clutch would be nice as well some more clowning clutch would be kind of cool the last card is our card is going to be what is it i didn't even see what do you guys think it is what do you guys think it is? it's not a golden ticket obviously but it is a rising star to not robinson that's what that is that's what that is Oh man, this is crazy. Like I don't I, I don't feel like I wasted a bunch of coins, right? I feel like I invested into a chance to get something great. As he pulled another Scott Chandler. Alright, Madden. Alright, Madden, what the hell are you doing? I don't need this clown. I don't need this clown. I know he, I know he's built like Gronkowski, but I don't need this clown. I don't need this clown. He got seven packs remaining. Seven. Seven. Just only seven. He flew through all that many packs and nothing to show for him but a few elites and some clowning collectibles. Like, I didn't really get anything out of these packs, right? I didn't really get anything out of these packs. That's crazy, right? That's crazy. But I guess everybody and their mama and their cousins and their entire family is on like 18 different accounts pulling packs to try to get themselves a golden ticket. So that's probably why the odds aren't as great as they would be. As to get a Ryan Mundy out of that next pack, well, I can go ahead and quick sell because he goes for nothing. How do I know this? Because the safety set is already out in the game and that set is not worth doing because James the Hedabo is not that good. He's not that good. I made room. I made room. We got room. We got room. We got room for the rest of these packs as we get another low tier gold card. So, okay. Our run is over. We had a nice run here. We had a nice run. That's crazy considering that I did not pull a lot of cards, right? There are so many cards in packs. I think there are more car more good cards in packs than bad cards. And I pulled so many more bad cards than I did good cards. It's kind of funny, right? It's kind of funny.
Only five packs remaining. Come on, man. Stop giving me my gold cards right away. And stop giving me these white receivers, yo. Like, I got Scott Chandler. I got this cloud. Like, yo, I don't need these guys. Dude, it's not even... Uh, he's not even in the set. Like, this is the wrong Patriot to give me. Like, he's not even in the Patriots trophy set. He's in trophy set. I'd be happy to take him. But he's not even in that set. Give me a Logan Ryan or something. Give me that guy. That'd be a good pull right there. Give me a Justin Blaylock. That'll make him with a lot of coins that I lost out on this pack opening, even though I'm not really too upset about it. Just give me something good. Just give me something I can sell. That I can come back and do some more packs because I'm addicted right now. I'm addicted. No, I'm not really. Golly, man. These packs are just brutal. Brutal. Brutal, I tell you. Ooh, bunch of cards is going to quick sell. And these cards go into a set. Man, I keep pulling the same damn cards. All right, so Lambeau Field got that one caught the way. And I think Jim Cowell already has the set. So, yes, I do. How many packs we got left? I got to be careful because I don't want to hit X and open up anything on these packs. So, all right, two pro packs remaining. I think I got enough room over these last two pro packs. Oh, we get a Ryan. So, that's our card for the day out of that pack. This card should not be a gold card. It should be a glorified gold card, but it's not. Yo, Jeremy Ross again. Like, why are you still in my pack? If I quick sold you once. What's going to happen the second time? I'm not going to keep you the second time. Get the hell out of my life. And we're down to our last and final pro pack of the video. And we're going to go ahead and slow this one down for a little bit. We're going to slow it down. We're going to slow it down. We're going to slow it down. We go. No, we're not. Damn it. We got a rising star, Dante Moncrief. So, packs were not that great for me. If you guys have better luck pulling packs today, let me know in the comment section. below. if you guys pull any piece of Ronnie Lott or any piece of Gene Upshaw, let me know as well. And in the comment section below, if you guys pull the golden ticket, who would you create? Because I'm not pulling, obviously, so I can't give you guys who I would create. But if I was lucky to pull one, it will probably be a Thomas Davis or a Marquette King or a Marcus Hunt. Somebody of that caliber just so I can make people mad and also make people happy. But that's the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm the Texas Boy, and I'll catch y'all mother bleepers later. Peace.